so I have been challenging myself for the rest of the quarter of the year to start seeing God in everything that goes on in my life that goes on around me you know and it's crazy because it's starting to come to pass I've been asking God you know hey God help me get a clearer understanding on things when I'm confused help me open my mind up to be able to receive what you have in store for me if you're speaking a word rather if it's from the Bible rather if it's you know from a friend from a colleague whatever like God I want you to be able to open my eyes and my ears clearly so I can hear you even if it's as gentle as a whisper. And it's crazy. You really have to be careful in what you ask God for because he will do it. If you have the faith to do it, if you have the faith of the mustard seed, that's what the Bible says, you must have the faith of the mustard seed in order to please God. Sorry about this ambulance. Oh my God. <laughs> I hope they're okay. I really do. And I hope they get to where they go safely. But um, the Bible does say, you know, it's without faith, it's impossible to please God. And of course, the definition of faith is all things that are hoped for. You know? Like he's really starting to do what I've been asking him to do. And what I mean by that is, is that, you know, God, open my ears, open my heart, open my mind. You know to receive every every word that you have for me at whatever given moment because god i need you more than i need the air in my body the more more than i need eyes to see ears to hear i need you in my life in every aspect right so i was watching fences yesterday or the other day and i've never seen fences in my life you know the movie with denzel washington viola davis etc and I was watching it and it was just some things that was going on in that movie where I kind of was confused because the theme of the movie was taking place back in the 1950s. And of course it's way before my time, but whatever. So the movie goes on and Troy, which is Denzel Washington, um, he has a brother named Gabe. They call him Gabe, but his name is Gabriel. And Gabriel has mental, dis uh, mental issues, right? And I think it was because he was like in the service or in the army or something for a little while. And then he got hurt. He got shot in the head or whatever the case was. They, you know, brought him back home. You know, got him on that. You know how it is. Okay. So with him having his mental disorder, he had to get surgery on his head. And now he had a metal plate in his head. So with his brother Gabriel having mental issues, you know, a lot of people kind of shrug off the person who has that you know and not really take heed of what they're saying right so a few things stuck out to me in that movie gabriel or gabe um always walked around in the movie with a horn and that was one thing that really touched me was like the fact that you walk around with the horn out of all instruments by a horn you know so and then i'm like well his name is gabriel gabriel is one of the name the number one archangel you know one of the top archangels in heaven so I took heed of that. I said, okay, angel, Gabriel, trumpet, trumpet, right? So Gabe goes in and he always tells Troy, like, Troy, I've been busy today. I was busy today because I was chasing the hellhounds, you know. And Troy's like, you know, why Why are you chasing hellhounds? You know, what? why are you doing all that? You know, not need to leave them alone. Gabriel's like, because they're here on earth causing havoc, you know. And I need to send them back to where they came because I'm, I'm tired of it. And I'm just like, wow. Like, God is crazy like that, right? So I'm like, okay, come on. I'm listening. He told Troy, um, hey, Troy, I saw your name in the book of life. So Troy is like, you saw my name in the book of life? And Gabe's like, yeah, I talked to St. Peter, which is the guard of the, the gates in heaven i talked to saint peter a lot you know and he let me see the book of life and i saw your name in there troy shrugged it off and was like oh yeah okay that's cool man that's cool bro the thing with gabe that got me was the fact that in the movie he rarely ate it was maybe one or two scenes in the movie where he ate anything because troy's wife viola she always offers him like hey you know gabe come on in i got some food 
here i got some watermelon i got this you know whatever it is that you want i can make it for you so you can eat troy even said gabriel doesn't eat and i'm like even though he has a mental disorder we be eating okay people know how to eat and they're like we rarely catch him eating anything and i'm like angels i don't believe they eat i don't believe that they even sleep because they're so busy getting making sure that we're protected here on earth they're guarding us so that was another thing but yeah y'all that that was deep that was deep for me because i'm like gabriel doesn't eat anything this day was an angel like y'all uh, maybe i'm thinking too deep into it i don't know but god be talking man he be talking and then another thing that stuck out to me gabe said but my name's not in there and troy's like huh why not why why your name not in there your name should be in there gabe said because i'm already in heaven i said my god i said okay you talking to me so the movie goes on and i hate to spill the beans if you haven't seen fences but you know troy dies and um with his death it was a baseball that was in the backyard that was attached to a tree on a string because troy was really big on baseball and sports he wanted to get into the um the national baseball league or whatever and he was rejected because of his age and troy himself always kept that as a grudge you know he was always bitter about it because he didn't make it so before troy passed away he tried to swing at the bat i mean swing at the ball back there he topped a little he toppled over had a heart attack passed away so the family comes in at the end of the movie because they're getting ready to go to the funeral but gabe he was sent away to a hospital a mental hospital and they're like, we don't know if Gabe's going to be able to make it to the funeral, but we need to start heading out. So, Gabe comes in at the last minute. You know, he comes in, hey y'all, hey y'all, caught y'all before y'all headed on out. He's like, I'm here. Once again, he still has his trumpet around his neck. Y'all, this is, I was literally almost in tears by this time. And he's like, hey y'all, he's like, y'all getting ready to, to go say, you know, goodbye to Troy or whatever like before we go i gotta do something mind y'all they still in the backyard where troy passed away and gabriel he takes this rusted trumpet I had to readjust myself yeah he takes this rusted trumpet that he has and he blows it he blows it three times the first two times wasn't as lucky nothing came out of it they're like it's okay gabe you don't have to blow it it's okay he said, no, 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 no. I have to blow it to signal to St. Peter to go ahead and open the gate. Y'all, yeah. that third time he blew it, it was like a, it was like, kind of like a roller coaster. You start off slow and then you go fast. It was literally how Gabriel did his trumpet. It was slow. Nothing was coming out. Nothing was going. But then he gave it one big push. Ooh, and he let the sound of the trumpet go, right? This at this point once again I'm crying because I'm like oh my god crying right yo he blew the trumpet he stopped the clouds above opens and of course you know cinematics whatever but it opens and then you start hearing the sounds of the trumpets in heaven go off and at that point y'all I'm bawling like I'm straight boo hooing because I'm like God this whole exact time. Gabe, you sent Gabriel to earth in a different disguise. And I believe that, I believe, I believe that's what happened. Like, at the end of that movie, I was in tears, crying, because I'm like, God, you're so faithful, you're so good. And I do believe that angels are sent on earth in a human form, disguised as humans, to protect us. I feel like we have angels walking among us right now just as we have demons you know like straight up but that's just crazy to me like i'm ask god to open your ears and your heart and your mind he will start showing you the littlest things to to prove that i'm god i'm here i'm everywhere it's so crazy right it's crazy